But I've been bullied a lot because I was a little small in high school. Actually, and then later in high school, I, I was like, okay, I don't want to get bullied no more. So I just used my humor to like be cool with everybody. And then I became cool with like, I just made sure to be cool with like all the big scary people first. And that way I was always protected. But like my school was 8th through 12th. So we had 8th graders, or sorry, 7th through 12th. It was a secondary school. So 7th graders mixed in the hallways with seniors, yo, that that joint was scary. Okay, so we in the locker room. This is this is where you see the first fappable material, I think, in my opinion, because Judith is fine, even though she's like considered. Oh, what? What? I want some. I want some, Judith. Oh, hurry up! I gotta play this game. Hurry up! Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, the camera is on. Okay. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, okay, we gonna play the game. I wasn't I wasn't uh I was tying my shoe. This beat though. On, wax off. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To Turk Van Gogh Games. I'm your host, Turk Van Gogh. Um, if you want some tea or some coffee or some juice or some Red Bull, grab something and chill while we play. If this is creeping you out, trust me, it's creeping me out too. So right up there, so right above my head is um, patreon.com slash tvgg. Please go there and support your boy. And I'm also saying hi, 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 yo. Let's do this. I'm gonna start a brand new game on how many times I play this game? Like 50 times? I mean seriously. Um, choose your character. You're gonna be TVG. TVG. Okay, there you go. Start. Oh shit, she's enabled. Mm-hmm. You know we're gonna do that because I don't have a lot of time to like play this game a hundred times. So if you're if you're thinking I'm gonna play this game from start to finish and read everything, you got another thing coming. I'm probably gonna do a lot of cuts. So if you want, go watch my previous videos and I will show um, pretty much the entire journey of this walkthrough. So if you want to do that, that's great. Um, but I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to kind of go through the game and uh, get to all the new stuff. Woo! Okay, so we've seen this part. The daddy dies. We get it. We get it. So we're going to go. Okay, we're going to our room. So if I, if I do some cuts, so I'm playing on cheat mode, obviously. That's why you can see my money up there. So I'm going to grab these cookies because I know we're going to need these cookies. Let's get out of the room. This is where we meet Janae. I always like to call her Janae, even though her name is Jenny. Okay, so that's my sis. If I start making some weird faces, um, it is me and it's the face rig. So I'm going to blame it on both. So blah, blah, blah. She says um, something about going to school and dad and this and that. Oh, yeah, because my daddy just died. Okay, Debay. I'm going to name her Debay. I don't know why, but I always named her Debay in all my videos. So we unlocked Eric's house. So that means we got to go to Eric's house. Let's grab these keys. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is go outside. Why are my eyes always closed? Okay. Ooh, okay. So is there anything new on the map? No, nah, everything looks the same. Go to school. This is where we meet Mia, who's like the girl of my dreams, or I'm the man of her dreams, or she's like the shy, um, you know, prudent type. So, oh, look, the school's a little different. You changed it up. Damn, my eyes look weird. But this girl is so fine right here. So fine. Okay, let's talk to her. And then Miss Smith uh, talks about our grades because um, she ain't gonna cut us no slack even though my poppy died. And I don't know if his grades are bad because his poppy died or if his grades were just bad before. I'm not sure. Okay, so Annie, um, okay, she, she shows us about the key, which we're gonna steal later. 
Okay, so yeah, we're gonna steal the key later. We'll we'll get that later. I'm pretty sure on how to. I I think I'll remember everything. Okay, there's Judith. Judith gets bullied a lot, which ain't cool. But we're gonna we're gonna come through for her. But I've been bullied a lot because I was a little small in high school. Actually, and then later in high school, I I was like, okay, I don't wanna get bullied no more. So I just used my humor to like be cool with everybody, and then I became cool with like I just made sure to be cool with like all the big scary people first, and that way I was always protected. But like when I was in eighth grade. My school was 8 through 12, so we had 8th graders, or sorry, 7 through 12. There was a secondary school, so 7th graders mixed in the hallways with seniors. Yo, that, that joint was scary. Okay, so we're in the locker room. This is, this is where you see the first fappable material, I think, in my opinion, because Judith is fine, even though she's, like, considered... Oh, what? What? I want some. I want some, Judith. My wife is probably outside the door like, what is, what am I married to? Ooh, okay. And, and we got a joint on us. If you can't see, I mean, obviously YouTube's pixelated. Oh, oh, okay. So we getting a little stiffy. So we're going to keep going. We put our gym clothes on. We go back outside. Oh, hold up. I saw some donuts. Wait, I can't go back there. Okay. Okay. We'll come back and we'll get those donuts. I saw some donuts on the floor. Look at my eyes again. My eyes are closed because I'm looking down at the screen. I gotta like look back like this. It's weird. So this is where we meet our, our French teacher. And we gotta do an assignment for her. But she's she's another sexy woman too. And she has a lot of motivation for us. A lot. Who's like our friend. And he she's changed up a little bit. I like that. She looks she looks a lot different. She got little cat ears on her hoodie. I like that. I want some cat ears on my hoodie. Or doggy ears. Or doggy flappy ears. That'd be cool. I'm not a, really a cat guy. I love cats. But... I don't have any cats. I used to. Um, I feel like just cats are, you know, they be seeing ghosts and spirits and shit. I don't need that in my house. Okay, I need to go to the shop. Check you later. Okay, we got Diane's front yard. Okay, so that means we got to go to Diane's house. But hold on. Before we do that, oh, I can't even go. Okay, now we in our um, aunt's and uh, my mama's twin sister's front yard. So I guess we're going to go in the, can we go in the house? No, we can't. We got to go in the back. Damn, there she is. Okay, so we've seen this, pretty much seen this part already. Um, we just kind of say hi, we flirt, and now I gotta go get the shovel. The shovel's in the garage, so I know where to get that. Okay, so let's go back, right here. Let's go in the garage. We're gonna take the shovel. That's what she, oh shit, okay. Uh, we tell her about Diane, about the new job, and she hates on us. Okay, and she grabbing something. How do you hide? Okay, you press H to hide. Look at that booty. Oh my god. We're gonna have to get the stool. We're gonna get the stool. Let's go over here. We, we don't use that right now. DTF. Oh, that's hilarious. Is there anything else in the garage that I'm missing? We're going to put some gas in that. Let's go back outside. And then we're going to go back to Diane's house. Let me give her the shovel real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just progress this part of the story. Because that's what you have to do. And I, I don't know if I was supposed to take the grapes. So she starts sweating us. Oh, it's nighttime already. Damn. Okay, so she wants huge cucumbers for some reason. I'm not sure why. Mm. She's on the phone. Hold on. Before I do that, let's go in here. This is where she's on the phone, and then we find out, like, our dad is in, like, trouble, and he owes money, and we're going to lose the house or something, or we owe a lot of money to the bank, and that's kind of sparks, like, me getting a job. Look, look at them tangs, yo. Oh, so let's go to sleep. What should I do? We've unlocked the mall parking lot and the beach. Sweet. And the treehouse. And the hill. Oh, shit. We, we unlocking everything? Okay, the boat bridge. What? Mayor Rump. Okay, so Rump is in this. Before we do that, I've unlocked a new area. Let's go up here. Because this for so long, I never knew what to do with this ring. So maybe, okay, I got a fishing pole. I miss dad. That's sad, man. He lost his pops. Okay, see, we unlocked that joint right there. Okay, this is still under construction. It's been under construction for a while. Now this, I don't know, might have some sort of mystery to what his pops is doing. Where does it start? It starts in Canada. Still in Canada. I think that's Canada. And then it goes to like Seattle, maybe. Maybe this is like, um, what's up here? Chicago or something? No, Chicago over here. Um, what is that, Wyoming or some shit? Okay. And then there's like San Diego. Then this is like uh, New Mexico. And then this is over to like DC, uh, where I'm at. And then this is like uh, the Caribbean. And then this is South America on the left side. Was that Portugal? Portugal? I'm stupid. All right. Instruction two. Oh, right here. One ugly rub. Okay. We got a little peephole. Oh, nice. I forgot. I, I don't remember that. 
that's gotta be new. So let's check in the shower. Oh, remember, patreon.com slash TVGG, okay? Okay, I can't quite make it out. Whoa, it's Janae. Look how fine she looks, yo. Oh my God, look at that body. She caught us. Okay, and then she hits us with the blow dryer. So let's go to the mall. And let's go get some stuff. We got mad money because we're playing on cheat mode. Oh, look at the mall. Look, it looks a lot different, yo. What? We go to the cinema. Let's go to consumer. Let's pick up everything. We need our camera. We need a new uh, GPU. Or is that a CPU? So now we can go home. We can fix our computer. We're going to fix the computer. There you go. Fix the computer. Um, we got webcam. That's going to be for later. Let's go. The password is cookies. It's right there, written there. But we're not going to do that yet. Oh, look at this. Whoa. That's so cool. Can we load the game? Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Look, this is room. We can look here. Nothing. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa, she's sitting on it. She's sitting on that little bouncy ball that people use at work sometimes to, to help out their back. How long does this go for? Remember, look, I don't like pixelating things on YouTube, but if you go to Patreon, you'll see all this uncensored. Okay, I mean, I've said that so many times. It's, it's right there above me. Okay, this just keeps going. We have to go do the uh, stuff on the lawn. So let's go in the garage. We'll fill this up. We'll cut the grass. Everybody's happy. She gets happy. And this will progress our situation with Mama. So we'll go with her. She... Uh, is mean to us as usual until later on in the game. Now we gotta take our clothes off. Okay. I'm not gonna read this, but I mean, do I have to look at that? The the art design is so beautiful in this game. Dark Cookie is a beautiful artist. He has his own uh, stream on uh, Picardo.tv where you can watch him like create. I mean, it's spoiler. You're gonna see mad spoilers. Whoa. Boy, yoing, 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 yoing. You're gonna see mad spoilers if you watch his stream, but you'll be able to see like all the new content that's coming up on version 21 or whatever it is 20 you know whatever comes after 20 i know it should be tw it should be 21 it doesn't skip like two or three or whatever so i guess let's go to wait no let's not go to bed let's go to the park this is where we're gonna do we're gonna progress with her we're gonna have like rap battles i think uh it looks like the dialogue might have changed up a little bit but i'm not gonna read it because it takes too long but i'm just gonna look i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep an eye out for the bold in white Okay, the, those are her art. Let's see what she got. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm going to read this. I was really surprised when Eve agreed to let me see her art pad. She was always so protective and secretive at school. It felt really good to know she trusted me enough to share. She was one of the few people who actually treated me with kindness. After all, and I was eager to return the favor. Oh, she was an amazing artist. Her style and use of vibrant colors made her character on the page look almost real. Like she could spring to life at any moment and fly away into the night. Oh, how poetic. Wow, this isn't a doodle. This is awesome. You think? Definitely. Who is it? Um, uh, my sister. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Is there a new character? Someone threw a can at my head. I think this is where the rap battle begins. They take her pad away. Damn, why are they being mean? Yo, chill out, Opie. It ain't like she gonna almost steal it. Here. F you, Tyrone. Come on, girl. Don't get bent out of shape. You know, you know you my main bitch. Yeah, in your dreams. Won't you come spit rhymes with us tonight? Okay, this is where we do it. Let's just go. I don't know why this progresses us. So we flick her off or she flicks them off. Sorry about them. See, before she was just at the park and then like she'd be like, yo, you want to go rap battle? But I guess he's fine tuning the story. No, it's not what I want. Wait, hold on. Let's look at our stats. Oh, all our stats are up. We don't have to. So let's go to bed. Let's just go to bed because the story progresses too when you just ding dong. Okay, someone's at the door. Let's go to the door. Okay, debate. Okay. Oh, Harold. Uh, this is new? Not much as I hoped. Um, thank you for this. That's nice. What have you found out? Well, the autopsy report confirms that he died from asphyxiation. And that coupled with excessive bruising around his throat means suicide is most likely the scenario. How how you gonna choke yourself? Hmm. Doesn't seem doesn't make any sense. Frank would have never never have killed himself. Can't really speak to that, ma'am. But it seems like your friend was keeping quite a lot from you. What do you mean? He said he was working as an accountant, correct? Yes. And he was employed at Saga Financial Bank. That's right. Fifteen years. Well, I spoke to the bank manager there, and he told me that your friend was fired eighteen months ago. 
What? That can't be. When they say friend, by the way, that's like a Patreon rule. You can't have like certain relationships in games, which is crazy because it's a video game. But um, it's supposed to be dad or your husband. The paperwork cited declining work performance and multiple incidents involving shady characters. But that doesn't. How could this key keep this from me? What, we, what was he doing for work all this time? Well, I'm afraid I haven't figured that part out yet. We do have evidence linking him to several high-value accounts, and eyewitness statements claim he was moving a lot of money around. They better not check my bank account because I got like a million dollars, a billion dollars, yo. Witness statements? Yeah, apparently he had quite friendly with a teller by the name of Lou Kim. Oh, damn. Lou Kim? Oh, Lou Kim. Is she Asian? I'm not familiar with her. She said... She had recently started, he had recently started working for a new client and that their accounts were all valued and well over seven figures. Unfortunately, that money vanished not long after your friend's death or your husband's death. From what we can tell, he was moved electronically into offshore accounts, but so far we're unable to trace it. At this time, we don't have a clue where it came from or who else might have been involved. It's my opinion that your husband got mixed up with some sort of criminal element and was most likely helping them to launder money. This can't be happening. This is Ozark. Oh, shit. Ozark. It would explain the threats you've been receiving. You said they demanded money? Yes. I pulled your phone records from the past couple days and it seems like the calls are coming from an overseas number. How's that possible? I don't know, ma'am. There's really not much I can do to help you at this point. But what am I supposed to do? Terribly sorry, ma'am. Damn, Harold. That doesn't make any sense. My dad would have never worked for a bunch of criminals. Maybe he was... Was he just lying to us the whole time? Oh, oh what's up? Oh. You want to arrest me, officer? I mean, police ain't being seen as the best right now. Yo, you, you should be safe. Put some riot gear on because people will be throwing rocks and okay, whatever. It's just hard to believe. Excuse me. Her name is Yummy. Mm. Holy crap, lady. Sorry about that. I'm looking for my partner, Harold. Yeah, he's in there. Thanks. Okay, what was the point of that? Damn, look at those tags. Oh. I'm sure there's something we're overlooking. I just need a little bit more time. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Yummy? We just got a call on a possible 1062. The bedtime bandit again? Most likely. Uh, I'll be right there. I, we find out later. I don't want to... I mean, I guess I can spoil it, but it's Eric's dad. Fun never stops. I'm afraid we're getting to have to cut this short. Hey, kiddo. If you think of anything else that might help our investigation or the threats escalate into something worse, don't hesitate to call me. Okay. I'll have my partner, Yummy, drop it drop it on you from time to time. Oh, she gonna drop it on us. Oh. Okay, thanks. We're gonna do... We're gonna sort this whole thing out. Yeah, my word. Son, you take good care of your mama. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll be in touch. Ma? How much of that did you overhear? I mean, I was standing there the whole time, girl. Hmm. Sweetie, this isn't something you need to concern yourself. I'll handle it. I want you to focus on school. That's what your father would want. Okay. Okay, so we're concerned, obviously, for our mama. Should we talk to her again? 